Hi everyone, today we are going to see how to set up arterial line transducer. For this, we are required a 500 ml NS uni bag solution, then a pressure bag, and a transducer set. Then let's see how to arrange it. Firstly, we have to at, uh, attach the 500 ml NS to the set coming with it and lock it here then second we have to use is a pressure bag put the 500 ml NS in the pressure bag hang it to the hook up. and then here you can see the wall close it to the back side and inflate the bag Till I am not going to inflate it completely just for showing purpose but the pressure should be of more than 250 mm of Hg to 300 mm of Hg so it can flush the arterial line at the rate of 3 ml per hour uh, as per the institution policy we can use place plain NS or we can add 5000 or as per uh, requirement hip amount of heparin in the NS Next is, this is transducer set. This cable goes to the pressure monitoring cable which came from the monitor. This is the point where we have to connect the another end of IV set or NS. This is the flush. This is actual transducer which converts the arterial line waves into the uh, electrical signals and show us in the form of waveform on the monitor. This is the patient's end where we can use the long tube. This end uh, will connect to the patient's arterial line side. Mm. Now we can see here I have inflated the pressure back at two, more than 250 mm of Hg to 300 mm of Hg its actual pressure at which back should be inflated so arterial line will get flushed at 3 ml per hour then we have to check the setup that it's completely locked or we have kept anything loosened then open the IV set here you can see this is one way wall the off side return is always closed when uh, so if we have to close it to the patient side we have to move it towards the patient side arterial line so when we get, uh, flush the line it will come here you can see it here it will come then up up to this side the artery there is no line, uh, air in the line so we have to move to the next so we have to turn it to the that side and then again flush the arterial line so here you can see the flush will come and in the last uh, earliest past we have seen it is the end where I, we have to connect the arterial line so by this way we have removed all the air from the tubings and we are ready to attach it to the patient arterial line then after we connecting it, we have to connect it to the monitor. It's just uh, we have to clip it like this and insert into the cable. So the it will show us on monitor. That's how we have to set up the arterial line uh, with the transducer. We should kept in always. Uh, we should always kept in mind that this is all this should be sterile. I have made this video just to show you but you should be careful uh, with handling the all the arterial line setup and transducer setup so now we can see the where to attach the transducer uh, we, at, we have to attach the transducer to the patient uh, at the site of right atrium at the level of right atrium and the root of aorta uh, where we can also see it as a phlebostatic axis it approximately comes to the fourth intercostal space so we can connect it to the 
arm of the patient or we can have uh, transducer stand for it so by this way we you can set up all the transducer set and arterial same thing will be applying for the central venous pressure monitoring same we have to use the transducer uh, this bag also here you can see the second port where we have to attach the second iv set or some iv sets may have the bifurcation from this side so you directly can attach the second transducer to it thank you